Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Patrick here, and today I am making a video all about bed bugs. It is my hope today that through this video, people out there who are dealing with a bed bug problem who, or who are waking up with itchy red bites and, and a rash um, will come to a complete and total understanding of how to deal with bed bugs and how to get rid of them, more importantly. So again, my name is Patrick and I run the website defensivein.com on the World Wide Web and I have been helping people get rid of their bed bug problem for the last five years safely, affordably, and most importantly, uh, through all natural means without any harmful chemicals. So let's just hop right into today's uh, informational presentation. If you think you have bed bugs, there's a good chance you do, but you know, another problem with bed bugs is a lot of people don't even know they exist. Like me, I didn't know bed bugs were a real thing up until about five years ago. And uh, here I am, you know, at the time, 34 years old, college educated, and I did not know that bed bugs were an actual thing. I thought they were just the subject matter of the nursery rhymes of yesteryear. But sure enough, bed bugs are on the rise and they are making a massive comeback, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and identify bed bug bites. As you can see, people who have a serious bed bug problem will wake up to, you know, 20, 30, 40 bites, okay? And they will be in small groupings like this, okay? Or they will be just literally all over. Um, they're you can differentiate bed bug bites from most other bug bites because for instance in this case here with the mosquito the inside of the bite is sort of transparent or the same color of, of your skin hives is more of a rash which is a little bit more of a subdued look fleas normally normally um not always but normally occur on the legs below the knees um, and then you have bed bugs which uh, bed bug bites they can happen anywhere, as you see from these pictures, but a lot of times they happen on the areas of exposed skin when you sleep. So just take a, take a look at these pictures here of bed bug bites, and if that looks like it could be you, then you're already on the road to preventing bed bugs and getting rid of them completely. So let's go ahead and take a look at these little infamous villains of the insect world and what they actually look like. As you can see, a bed bug kind of looks like a very uh, small or miniature undeveloped cockroach. And some people, to the uh, to the untrained, um, uninitiated, uh, you know, a bed bug could be mistaken or confused with like a typical outside sort of random bug or maybe a tick, but it's uh, a little bit bigger. Than a tick and much and much flatter and behaves much differently than a tick as well usually bed bugs um you're gonna find a lot okay you might see a couple of uh, stragglers walking around but if you see one chances are there's a lot more somewhere else so just keep that in mind um let's see here okay so in this picture we have this is called a nymph and a nymph is sort of an adolescent juvenile bed bug. You could even consider it a toddler. It is just hatched and it's just learning to walk. Oh, how sweet and so special. And, um, and, and it's basically, you can't see it until it has its first meal. Then it gets some of that red color in it and that red, which is blood from a human. Um, eventually when it reaches maturity, it is, it is brown like this. Okay, so bed bugs are very small. And you could probably fit five or six bed bugs onto a single penny. So it makes them even harder to detect the fact that they're so small. But here's what they look like. So let's take a good look. Go down through here. Much bigger than a flea, though. Fleas are usually really uh, hard to spot. They just look like, kind of like black specks that randomly just hop around <laughs> after you've looked at them for a while. Uh, so bed bugs are, you can see them, unlike dust mites, you can't see dust mites. <laughs> I'll, I'll get to that in a second. So here is what they look like. Uh, here we go. Actually, here is a dime, and here is a, this is a really small bed bug, but yeah, 
very, very small, but they do get, once they reach full maturity, they're probably a little bit bigger than an ant and uh, a little bit bigger than a tick. All right, moving on. So in case you feel sort of self-conscious or worried that there's something wrong with you or your house, um, here's a little reassuring information for you. Bed bugs can be anywhere. And it seems that the insects are quite at home in the modern environment as 99.6% of all professional pest exterminators have dealt with them in the past year. All right, and uh, it says that the number um, is, a, is about the same um, as 2013, but much higher than 5, 10, 15 years ago. And they are making a worldwide comeback with increased international travel. The fact that the most effective pesticide for bed bugs was banned um, worldwide around uh, the middle of last century and I think completely officially done with in the early 70s which gave bed bugs time to recuperate and to stage their um, coming out of retirement party. Now the reason why they made that pesticide illegal, it's called DDT, is because it had too many side effects which were harmful to humans. Now here's, an, here's kind of an interesting, if not unsettling, uh, factoid what percent of hotels have bed bugs <laughs> according to orkin 98 percent of hotels have at least one ongoing bed bug prevention program which means hotels already know about it and you'll and you'll know that hotels know about bed bugs if you ever complain to them because they go immediately into um sort of like cover up and deny mode because they know that if the word gets out on yelp or whatever hotels.com and all that stuff that they have bed bugs, then it's like total business killer. 82% of hotels in the United States have been treated for bed bugs in the past year. Can you believe that? Four out of five hotels <laughs> in the U.S. have been treated for bed bugs. So it's pretty serious. Now, we've already covered the fact that bed bugs are hard to see, even when they are fully mature. But what about their eggs? even harder to find and harder to see. Look, they're clear, transparent, and they usually, the uh, the mothers of uh, bed bug eggs usually stash the eggs into hard to reach places. So you may never find them, you may never see them. Look, that's, that's a crack in a furniture. So hard to see these little eggs, okay? So ridiculously hard. Now let's, uh, let's talk a little bit about bed bug behavior, all right? One of the reasons why bed bugs are so hard to get rid of is because the actual time that they are out in the open and exposed to um, being detected by humans, it might only be a matter of 15 minutes. And this is because a bed bug usually comes out at night when you're asleep and they are nocturnal, so they operate at night and they come out and they feed and it takes them five to 10 minutes to have lunch. And then after they do that, they disappear and they can go into hiding for the next 10 to 15 days without eating. Okay, they're like, I'm good. I'm going to go hang out here in the box spring or in the crack of your uh, mattress. And I'm just going to chill for a while. And so, and during that time, that's when they're laying eggs and they are, uh, you know, growing in, in number and, um, and also um, ruining your mattress, as you can see here. See, see these stains? This is really gross. Okay, they, bed bugs are not picky about living conditions because they will have their meal and they will creep and crawl away to some place. And while they're hanging out, you know, obviously nature calls even for a bed bug. And so they go use the potty and then they live in it. So, um, yeah, <laughs> so there's that. And so here we are. And this is what... Um, these are some signs of a bed bug infestation. You, you have the, the brownish, red, blackish um, sort of stains from their feces. It's kind of a weird word. I don't know, it's kind of a gross word. Feces is gross. I, I think poop is just a little bit more, uh, more user friendly. Um, see, here's their little, uh, their little dookie trail here in the seam of something. <laughs> Looks like maybe furniture. <laughs> um, yeah, so they, they hide away in cracks and crevices. Ugh, just, just really grosses me out. But let's let's break down exactly where they hide, okay? And their 
their favorite little hiding spots. So, oh, this is a good one that I found. A bed bug hiding spot. So you can see the number one hiding spot for a bed bug is in the box spring of your mattress. See, they even have a little bed bug there it's hanging out. <laughs> and then, um, so 34% box spring, 22% mattress. Um, so that means, um, quick math, that means over half of bed bug uh, infestations are going to be in your bed or mattress, box spring, um, box, uh, bed, bed frame, etc. Then you have 22% in the furniture. So at this point, we're already, so basically three out of four bed bug infestations are going to be in bed or furniture. All right, because they like that fabric. They like the cracks and seams they can hide away in. All right, and then we have frames and headboards, which is really, you know, I already said the, the frame. Um, so this, this covers most of it. So if you have a bed bug elimination strategy that targets the bed and furniture mainly, I think you're going to be in pretty good shape. And I'm going to get more into that in a moment about what you can do to actually kill them. And then you have, um, you know, bookcases, dressers, drawers, um, baseboards, walls and ceilings behind art. Here we have a, um, original Picasso painting of a bed bug. <laughs> um, and so this is where they like to hide. Now, here is where it gets really unfortunate. And here is where the human, um, sort of factor comes in. Okay, when you have a bed bug problem, after you identify that you even have the problem, which is takes time and is difficult to do, okay, and while you're having sleepless nights and, you know, anxiety and you're losing productivity the next day and you feel like crap, um, you know, and you don't know how to get rid of these bed bugs, now, let's say you live in an apartment okay and you know you tell your landlord and your landlord blows you off or maybe they have an already ineffective bed bug treatment in place but let's say your landlord blows you off so there's nothing you can do there or if you live in a um like like a senior home and the manager does nothing or if the hotel manager does nothing or if you live in the college dorm and you know whoever the the building manager is doesn't do anything about the bed bugs okay um it does happen you know it, these bed bug infestations get out of control because the people in charge deny or they don't know how to deal with them then let's say that um you decide to take matters in your own hands how much is it going to cost to get rid of them if you go through a professional exterminator so it says for a full bed bug removal expect to pay anywhere from 500 to a thousand five hundred dollars um <laughs> you know and there's all these charges for visits consultations um multiple treatments and even a potential like a monthly ongoing sort of auto bill which they which i have heard exterminators like to do in some cases just to get more money from you on a monthly basis you know ruin your credit take your money so that you can have that peace of mind so five hundred to a thousand five hundred dollars, but don't worry, because I'm gonna help you with that, and I'm gonna show you how you can get rid of bed bugs for much cheaper, much, 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 much cheaper. All right. So if this is for a home, let's just assume this is for a house. Actually, I've I've seen numbers where it said anywhere from five hundred dollars to five thousand, depending on the size of the house, right? Um, so let's just say for an apartment. Maybe it's a little bit less than that, but still maybe in the $300 to $1,000 range, okay? Then you're dealing with an exterminator. You don't know what chemicals they're using. They're going to tell you it's safe. Of course they are. Why wouldn't they? Their job depends on it. They're going to tell you the chemicals are safe. And there have been cases where people have been seriously injured from chemicals in pesticides. And, you know, really nothing more to say about that. I don't think that's too hard to believe there are news articles out there you can google them about people who've been hurt or killed or put in a coma by uh, pesticides and also when using chemicals there's this whole i mean when using anything any any type of pesticide there's always a danger right but with chemicals i think even more so and i myself have been affected negatively by things that the government said were safe and effective and doctors said were safe and effective so 
I tend to be a little bit cynical um, towards these people who charge big bucks to, you know, gas your house or spray it down with chemicals. But, so let's go to the EPA website. United States Environmental Protection Agency. Pesticides to control bed bugs. Yay! We're saved. So there are um, quite a few different categories of pesticides which you can use to kill bed bugs. Here's what's really disappointing, and here's and here's a reason why my website exists. The EPA has registered more than 300 products for use against bed bugs. Well, maybe on the surface, <clears throat> excuse me, that sounds okay to some people, but I want you to consider that the United States of America is a country of about 330 million people. So you mean to tell me there's only 300 products for bed bugs for 330 million people? I'm kind of I'm kind of uh, curious what percent. I just kind of want to do some math real quick if my uh, if my browser will work. Oh, it looks like it's frozen. How convenient! How convenient that it freezes when I want to do math. But let's just do some quick math. 300 divided by 330 million. <laughs> let's get a. Uh... Wow! I don't. That's. Did I do that right? I guess it's the number is so small, <laughs> but I mean, that's the percentage. The percentage of bed bug products t per capita is really small because the EPA makes it really difficult to have a uh, pesticide, which is again, why I exist and my website exists um, to help people get a good solution without breaking the bank. And I have already waded through all the red tape and the Bureau the bureaucracy which is inhibiting people and maybe protecting some people but inhibiting a lot of people so here are some of the different categories of bed bug pesticides pyrethrins and pyrethroids these are derived from the chrys chrysanthemum flower and these act on the central nervous system of the bed bug um, but they, these can also be irritating to humans so there's not completely safe just because it's from a plant um, they also are similar to neonicotinoids. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but let's break it down. Neo and nic nicotine. This is actually uh, nicotine-based, and it also acts on the central nervous system of the bed bug. You have desiccants, um, which is what I offer uh, on my website, and I offer EPA-approved desiccants, and I um, show you how to use it with a video and uh, full instructions, biochemicals, pyroles, and insect growth regulators. So you have all kinds of Frankensteinish sort of uh, pesticides that work on bed bugs. Okay. Now, oh, one last thing. So you might have dust mites and not know it. You might think it's bed bug bites because I've been there. I thought I had bed bugs, but it was just dust mites. All right. And uh, you can get rid of them in basically the same way, and I'll tell you that in a second. But dust mites are going. You see, the rash is is sort of less pronounced, and it's more of a splotch. Whereas these bites are, you know, unique and separate and large. So that's that's one way you can determine if you have dust mites or bed bugs. Now, so to get rid of bed bugs, first of all. You're going to want to remove all clutter. Check under your bed. Get rid of anything. Like, you know, if your room is messy, just be honest. It's okay. If your room is messy, it's time to clean it up because you want to get rid of those hiding places for bed bugs. And um, under the bed is a big is a big thing. If you have stuff under your bed, just get just get rid of it. Just remove it. Put it somewhere else. If you have secondhand furniture or a secondhand mattress, secondhand, um, you know box spring furniture if you've bought any used furniture you know this is another um favorite of bed bugs to come into your home by um really so you want to you want to declutter you want to clean your home as good as you can you want to wash your bed sheets everything on high heat um you know take it to a laundromat and put it in like the industrial industrial strength washer and dryer and dry it on high heat and that will kill bed bugs and the eggs you're going to want to take a vacuum cleaner and go along the seams of your bed and you're going to want to um, vacuum 
everything just as much as possible and and you know feel free to take a wet cloth with some mild soap and also clean it up and get rid of those stains um, check your clothes wash all your clothes any fabric and then when you vacuum something make sure you put it in a plastic bag and then put it outside immediately don't don't like just put your vacuum cleaner away and not empty it um, or even empty it in your in a bag in your house and keep it inside because it'll just crawl out and you'll have a problem again so these are some of the big ways that you can do without even buying anything to get rid of bed bugs but eventually you're probably going to want to buy something and that is why I created the website defensive end and again this website has been helping people for the last five years get rid of bed bugs with a safe all-natural solution and people on average will spend um, anywhere from 40 bucks to around a hundred bucks but it is a comprehensive solution you do get a video uh, with instructions of how to use it um, you also get precautionary advice so that you don't ruin your vacuum cleaner and you get video proof that the stuff works and we we work with a um, third-party partner and we ship out a product that is EPA approved it is safe and effective and um, very affordable and the beauty of this product is the product we send you stays good forever as long as it's kept dry so if you put this uh, in your bed and in the components of your bed and you leave it there it will stay effective essentially forever okay and if you do everything else right and if you clean and you wash everything and you um, and you get a solution through the website and again you don't have to get your solution through here you can you can do your own search on Amazon or you know you can do your own Google search or ask around do do your do all your own research I'm not here to try to um, get you to use my website I'm just offering it to you um, and along with this information because I hope to help you and I want to save you money so and I want to get you a complete solution that will work you know like right now not something that you have to wait around for or wonder or have any guesswork or buy like five different things and wondering if it's going to work or not but anyway so this has been a presentation all about bed bugs i sincerely hope that it has been helpful to you um, in identifying the bed bug problem understanding it more and seeing what you can do about it one final um word of of hope for everyone is that bed bug bites while extremely annoying um, are not fatal so chances are they will not kill you and they will not spread disease so that's a definite plus they're just really annoying and um, if you're anemic and you get bit too many times by bed bugs it does happen then you can kind of get sick okay but that's if you're anemic or if you're just constantly getting bitten it happens to some seniors and uh, like the senior living homes and uh, like I guess like hospice care environments but it's very rare so um, I just want to thank everybody out there for watching I hope it's been helpful and um, feel free to leave your comments below and I will put a link to the website below as well if you want to get a solution that works and um, I wish you good luck moving forward and getting rid of bed bugs and fortunately I, I travel quite a bit I have never had a bed bug problem personally um, but I have dealt with dust mites and I thought it was bed bugs but it wasn't and um, <laughs> but that's how I learned all about dust mites so all right good luck guys and uh, I wish you well take care